I have heard few times. Uh, they say Dr. Santosh Babu and innovations are like synonyms. So, <laughs> so while saying that, you have been so much fascinated by the IT and the application of it. How do you put that IT of your, um, as your fascination and as you have believed in IT, how are you thinking of bringing this to also the journey of the IAS? Happy that you asked that question because uh, possibly the IAS is one of the few platforms which gives an opportunity to young mind to experiment. You know, generally people say that innovation happens in the private sector. Government sector, there's no innovation. I would rather disagree with that. I would say that I have done possibly around 300 plus innovations. All, most of the innovations are there, available on my personal website, uh, santoshbabu.org. You could have a look at it. Uh, but the point is, uh, the government does not stop you from innovating. The government only encourages. But generally what happens is that people think, no, let it go this way, why should I take a risk? But the IAS is the most beautiful place for any person who wants to take a risk for the betterment of society. So, in 2008, when I was the MDL court, uh, we created all these online services for certificates, community certificate, nativity, solvency. Why can't they apply from home and take a printout at home? As simple as that. No, instead of visiting a government office, applying it, and sometimes you know somebody asking for a bribe, etc. Why should they go through that pain? So that intrigues me. The IAS, whatever the position. For example, I was for four years after Harvard. After uh, Sandeep was said, you know, I had a exposure to Harvard for that MBM degree, Harvard and National University of Singapore. I came back expecting to be posted as the uh, commissioner of Chennai Corporation. You know, which I personally wanted in my heart of hearts. I never ask anybody. I never tell anybody, uh, but I wanted to be that, but I was not posted there. I was posted in a small place, which is a punishment posting literally, called the Tamil Nadu Handicrafts Development Corporation. You know, that's a place where very good officers are put and parked. Generally, nobody likes it, nobody does anything. It's a very dilapidated place, good for nothing. But 2073 it was formed, 2014 when I joined, the turnover was 30 crores. 16, we made it 70 crores. We won the National E-Governance Award. We used all kinds of technologies there. The uh, 3D printing, which is called additive manufacturing, artificial intelligence, blockchain. Then we used virtual reality, augmented reality, you name it everything. With the same political setup, with the same people, it was possible. The only difference was I brought in that leadership there. So that's what uh, young aspirants like you who are watching this program can bring to this country complete transformation is possible just by the thought of a person sitting in that chair. You have to be sitting in the chair. That's the most important thing. So important thing for you to visualize and realize is that despite all the political interference, intervention, etc. you know about or have read in newspapers, despite all the pressures that you have, despite all the stress that comes with the job, etc., the IAS provides a canvas like no other service can provide. So I exhort all of you to not only really just write this exam, go for it, give your complete heart out. That's one chance for the country to get a brilliant young mind in there, to innovate for a country. We should be like a Singapore, we should be like a Switzerland, isn't it? We should be better than them. So that's an opportunity that's awaiting all of you.